Yo, what's up guys today? Hopefully you guys are having a good day, man. We're officially on 2K21. If you are new though, make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, man. It would help out a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this, man. Obviously, it feels like a reskin of the game. As you guys can see, I mean, I'm just talking through this um, completely. You guys see the build I ended up finishing off making. But anyways, man, the game feels like a reskin. It's the same exact my player builders. They have like two different ones. I believe I'll, I'll make a more in-depth video on it, but you can get Hall of Fame badges for every category, but you lose a little bit of attributes too, I believe as well. So I don't know how I really feel about it. Um, yeah, man, I'm just excited over 2K later on to actually come out for the full game. I'm actually playing the, like a demo, like actually playing the micro builder, and not not like the whole making the build thing, but actually playing the game. I don't know how I feel about the actual game. Movement system feels pretty good, but just the shooting. I don't know if you can turn the meter off right now. Um, if you guys know, um, let me know as well, because for some reason I can't turn my meter off. You might have to go to 2KU or something like that, but I didn't see anything for options to turn my meter off. And um, yeah, I was kind of mad about that, because that shot meter now, bro, I, don't, I just don't like it. If you guys like it, let me know. Um, but I ended up making, I believe it said at the end, was a playmaking shot creator. I want to say um, that's the build I had at the end. I would check, but um, I had to put defensive badges on, man. It took a lot this year. It seems like... The pie charts definitely got nerfed down a little bit too. I had to upgrade steel all the way, and I had to go really far on like blocking on um, a little bit on offensive rebounding just to finally get three defensive badges up. I think I ended up before this the video ends. I think I had like six, almost like six finishing, um, 20, 20 shooting and twenty one playmaking, and then three defensive badges. And I feel like as point guard, you don't need that many defense. Well, you need defensive badges, obviously. Just depends what you play. I, I wouldn't go one this year though. Um, you could go up to four too and lower your finishing um, as well. I might check out that other pie chart too as well for the Hall of Fame. I believe you get Hall of Fame badges on each um, section. So I might check that out and just put my Hall of Fame badges on defensive and then we'll see what we can do from there. But yeah, man, I don't know, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. It just depends what badges actually work this year too. For like playmaking is another thing. It depends if ankle breaker tight handles work. Um, Unpluckable is actually going to work too. <laughs> so if those badges don't work again this year, um, I'll probably be making another video on the best build to make. So we'll see, man. How many times we get ripped with unpluckable and tight handles if we actually get people to freeze and stuff? Ankle breaker, if you can you know, actually get ankle breakers. I don't know if ankle breaker has worked in the past two years to be honest, unless you had their badge. So then that, that's another thing too, man. You can take those down if you don't think ankle breaker or tight handles is going to work. Because at the end of the day, I feel like playmaking badges. There's only a certain amount of good playmaking badges. When I was playing the game too as well, um, quick first step felt like a really good thing this year too. It felt a lot faster for some reason. Quick first step just felt really insane. So I had Hall of Fame too. So we'll see, man, um, later on. But you can't go wrong with this build, man. It's the beginning of the game. I know you guys are going to be scared to make it, but I believe I made him 6'5 or 6'4. The speed difference wasn't too bad. I made a 6'8 um, a and then a 6'8 play sharp, and his speed was just cruised. And his ball handling, so he had like a 70 ball handling too as well. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll check the six eights out, man, for pure playmakers. I'll check it out for you guys, but I'm pretty sure pure playmakers are not going to be too OP this year. I'll definitely take a look into it, though, and we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Um, yeah, man. So if you guys, like I said, man, if you guys want to see more build videos, let me know, man. I'm definitely just going to be live in builds today. Actually, playing the game didn't feel too great. Um, I think my camera settings is on camera relative too, so I couldn't dribble like I wanted to. But you can still do the basics, momentum, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so the speed difference is a lot. After you get past like 6.5, you go to 6.6, six, six, the speed goes down pretty bad and your ball handling goes down. So I would say the average PGs this year are probably going to be like 6.5, six, 6.4, six, and um, 6.3. I most likely will go with a 6.4 um, just so I can get that one extra speed. And as well, I went lowest weight too, so you can get more speed as well and acceleration. Um, I feel like strength doesn't really matter too much on the point guard. Um, I went for the same exact physicals too, just the regular vertical. Um, I think, I think that was it, man. I'll probably, um, unmute this in a second here so you guys can hear me just talking through it. And, um, what badges I ended up going with too towards the end. Um, but you can't go wrong with this. I guess it's an offensive threat build, um, in between. But if you, I don't know why you can get offensive threat this year, I believe, if you only have one defensive badge. And I don't think that's going to be a good idea if you only have one defensive badge. So I'll try, I would try to get three or four, man. Um, it, it's going to end up giving you that playmaking shot creator. I think I ended up going with shot creator takeover too as well. So it's not a bad build in the beginning. If we find another OP build, I'll let you guys know, man. I know that Slash and Sharp got nerfed down pretty bad, too. Um, you can only have, I believe you can only have like a certain amount of three-pointer now this year. Or you can either just be able to dunk. So it's pretty, I got nerfed down. So it's looking like 
I think they're gonna be pure playmaker or playmaking sharp for point guards this year. And um, we'll see them. I, I like how the game felt though. The movement system felt pretty good. And just that that shot meter, man. I hope I can turn it off somewhere. I'm probably gonna have to go to 2KU to figure out how to turn it off. We'll see, man. Um, I'm gonna unmute this so you guys can hear me talk through the rest of the video though. So let me know what you guys think um, about 2K demo if you guys started it. Kind of sucks. It's the same as that, like the same as that background and everything like that, but. Not too mad at it, bro. The games, the games finally here, or at least the demos here. We got two weeks till 2K drops, man. So I'm excited for that, obviously. Um, yeah, that's what you guys see me look, just showing off the, the height, height difference and stuff like that. Thank you guys for coming over to the video. I'll show you a video later on today. If you are new, make sure you do subscribe and let me know what build you guys are making in the comment section below. And enjoy the rest of your day. Beginning, I don't know how I feel about that 85 too. Is there, is that the lowest we had that? Uh, that's the highest we had that okay so can't change it i'm uh, not mad at it so probably make, we'll, make, we'll make it just for this video we'll make a 6.5 but we'll most likely go oh and we haven't made um what to call it yet too as well our weight i completely forgot about that so it's looking like 6.5 might be the wave this year and obviously go lowest lowest possible um is this let's see decelerations moving at all yeah it is actually so we'll keep this around 176 i guess um, wingspan will probably go down two. Still not giving us a boost. We can't go down three. So you don't get a boost for it unless you go down three wingspan. I don't know how bad that'd be. I think we'll just keep it at 84. Your three point shot goes up twice when you go to 78. 78 might be the wave. I don't know. I wouldn't go all the way down to that, but 78.8 doesn't seem too bad. We get an 85 ball handling instead, too, and we're 6 5. Remember that. Um. Yeah, I think this is the wave. This is regular wingspan 81. Um, you go up. You don't lose. You only lose one if you go up. You only lose one three-point shot. So I'll probably go down ugh, three. I'm most likely when the game comes out, I'll probably go down two, just just because that's that's the big difference from 78 to 79. And now the ball handling, like I said later on, will go up. So we only have 84 ball handling right now. But right now we're gonna keep it at this. Well, I'll go 70 now. I'll, how big of a difference is that? If he keeps his hands stretched out, that would be nice. That's not too bad of a difference. I mean, eh, we'll keep it at 79. And these are the ones we get. I'm probably going to go shot creating again. I know last year I wanted to go sharp. But um, I think it's just for spot up again, the same thing as last year. So, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I might just go shot creator again. I feel like it's going to be OP. So, we'll pick that again. We got a playmaking shot created. Chauncey Billups, Malcolm Brogdon, Spencer Dinwiddie. And yeah, that's what we got, man. See, hopefully you can play this with a 99 overall. We'll see. You know, all right, we can. This is literally the same exact thing. That's crazy to me. Like, they didn't, they didn't change anything. I didn't change out the finishing patches look, but. Um, probably contact finish or goal just so they can finish layups. I don't think this is, yeah, for contact layups. And then probably, ugh, this, this bad situation's bad. Probably go like that. Bronze, Giants, Slayer, Bronze, but on this finisher. And we'll probably just keep it at that. We're going to be, this is a shooting build, though, man. No more quick draws, you can see. It's literally the same exact badges. There's no different badges. Um, don't know how I feel about that, not going to lie. Don't know how I feel about that. Um, we'll keep Hot Zone on. I don't think that's going to be too crazy this year. Volume Shooter actually kind of worked last year, so we'll put that at Bronze. This is good though, this is good for them not having, um, for them not having, what's it called, badges like that. This is actually pretty good. So we got some, we got some, not having quick draw is pretty good. I don't need quick and shoot. If you're a point guard, you don't really need catch and shoot, I don't think. Um, depends on how difficult shot is this year. It's only for step backs, pull ups. Um, I don't, difficult shot wasn't that good last year though. We'll put it on just to see later on. Um, see if we get anything, but we're gonna, I think we're gonna keep it like that. Go hot zone, range extender, dead eye green machine and we'll keep it like that steady shooter makes you miss more i'm pretty sure it's the same yeah so same exact badges um nothing too crazy playmaking badges are the exact same so um yeah there's that and for days you need these obviously unpluckable it depends how dribbling is this year if you're gonna get ripped i'll probably keep that at gold at most um ankle breaker it's another thing too um <laughs> people actually fall this year bailout we're gonna keep our bronze I don't, I actually kind of like this. Needle threader, we need gold, I want to say. Stop and go wasn't a, uh, high as excessive creating separation from the opponent. I don't really, I don't understand. Stop and go, I don't know what that did last year, um, honestly. 
to be honest with you. Tight handles, that might probably not going to be as OP too. So we'll put it on gold just to see. You know, last year tight handles was pretty OP. I'll put it on Hall of Fame so we can see the main thing. Downhill, I don't need that. Space creator, let's see if that's any different. No, it's not different. Floor general, I don't need that. We'll put anchor break on silver, I guess. Let's see if these work. We'll see what happens with that, and we'll put just clamp silver, I guess. Um, yeah, let's see. If we'll choose a jump shot. Let's see, man. Steph Curry. Well, that's a fast jump shot. I feel like these shots are gonna be slow. Um, where is where is that one dude shot? I want to say his name is John Wall. Not Steph Curry. We're not putting Steph Curry on. We can't do it. <laughs> um, they don't have a shot on here. I was thinking we did. Oh, they have Jerry West's. I wonder how his shot is. All right, we're on the the Bucks or the Clippers. We're on the Clippers. 